Is Canva Pro worth it? Let's talk about that. If you click the link in the description or the top comment, which is an affiliate link that helps support this channel, you'll land on this page. Now this is the Canva Pro page. So this is all the different marketing around what you get with Canva Pro and how you can decide whether it's worth it for you or not. First, Canva Pro has a 30 day free trial. So you can start your free trial to test out all the features. Now the good thing is, and I'll show you this in a second, when you're designing, you'll actually see as you use Canva Pro features, which ones are pro. Let's scroll down a little bit. So one of the biggest things is that you get a background remover for both photos and videos in one click. It's an amazing background remover. It really helps you in your designs. And uh, the only way to use it is to actually have Canva Pro. You can also scale your brand. So if you have um, like a brand or different clients you work with, you can have a brand hub where you have all your uh, templates, all your brand kit elements, so like fonts and colors, as well as imagery and everything all in one place for that brand. Uh, it talks about improving workflows. So there are some cool AI features like Magic Switch, which allows you to just select a new size and it will reformat your design. You can kind of see that over here on the right. And then one workspace means you get a terabyte of storage and everything can all exist in one workspace together where you can design, publish, and print everything. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, the AI features that Canva has added are pretty awesome. So you have Magic Write, which gives you, or you start with a prompt, and then Canva will automatically generate some text for your outline, your headline, your caption, or more. Uh, you have Beat Sync, which will automatically sync your soundtrack to the cuts in your video, and vice versa. Magic Eraser will allow you to literally erase elements. You can see that they're about to erase this raspberry just by drawing over it. That's pretty awesome. Translation tools, uh, magic editing tools, as in like highlighting an area and saying, I want some flowers to be put in there. If you've ever played with AI uh, photo or image generators, this is a thing built directly into Canva. You can draw, you can create your own in animations, text to image, there are so many different things. I mean, magic presentations generate a mind-blowing presentation with magic design. Okay, let's scroll on. So um, beyond just the AI stuff, we'll scroll up to features really quick. You also get access to the entire library of premium content. So there's photos, elements, videos, audio at no extra cost. This is a big one, actually. All of this stuff is available, and you'll see when you're working with Canva, just how many elements are premium here that you don't ever have to pay for, um, just your Canva Pro subscription. Now, the other cool thing is there are tons of templates. I don't even know if they, yeah, templates right here. So there are literally thousands of templates to get you started with your designs that you can use. Let's go over to Canva really quick. So when you're in Canva, and let's say we create a design, or we're to create a 16 by nine design, and I have the Canva desktop app, but I'm not going to open it up in that. So we're here in Canva. And what you need to look out for as you're designing or trying out the free trial, or maybe you just have Canva free, you'll run into this, is if I were to go to the design tab over here and go to templates, and then scroll down a little bit, really, I don't even need to search for anything. As I'm looking through these, I can see that some of these are free and some of them are Canva Pro. So for instance, anything with this little crown on it, literally any feature that you see as you're working in Canva, that's a Canva Pro feature. So for instance, the magic switch icon up here, you know, the one that will change your design to different sizes, that's a Canva Pro feature. We go into the file dropdown, you can see like version history, Canva Pro feature. When we go to share our document or even download different file types there are certain ones that are canva pro my design is empty let's put a design out here i'm just going to click on this template and add it in that was really simple and it gets you started right away you can see how there's all these presentation templates as a designer this is an incredible time saver uh, we go to share now and we can actually hit download and we can see here if we click this drop down we actually have some of these like this vector graphic svg is canva pro uh, when we go to PDF for print, well, guess what? If it, you want CMYK, it's Canva Pro. So like the professional uh, document that you need to send to a printer. 
So there are just so many things here that as you work with them, you'll realize are Canva Pro. So if we click on this one, actually, and we select this image, we go to Edit Photo, there are Canva Pro features. Remember Magic Eraser, Magic Expand will expand the background. Check this out. So I want more background to the left of this guy. Click Magic Expand, and look at that. Already, it expanded. Actually, no, it didn't. That's just the, <laughs> that's the photo cropped. Wow, you guys. Okay, so if I want to uh, drag this guy over, I can't. So let's get out of the expand really quick. It was cropped. Wow, I, I, feel, I feel real smart for that one. Okay, we're going to click out of this photo. So now this is the edge of the photo. Let's go to Magic Expand. If I wanted more background, uh, all I have to do is just literally click and drag this out and then wait, or no, not even wait, just click Magic Expand. And now I'm going to get some choices here through AI to actually expand this background if I needed more background in this photo. And this is a Canva Pro feature. So when you talk about is it worth it, the things that you can do here in Canva, because you have Canva Pro, boom, I have more background now. And this one's for real. It's not the actual crop of the image. I feel super smart after that one, everyone. Okay, we'll hit cancel on that, though. And then I'm just going to undo a couple times and get it back to where it was. So back to edit photo, though. Remember we talked about um, the background remover tool. So we could find that in here as we scroll it. Which one is it? Oh, it's the first one, of course. Background remover. This is a Canva Pro feature. All I have to do is click on it, and boom, the background is removed. And so I can come in here and edit some of the options here. I can show the original image, etc. But like literally in one click, the background is removed from that image. That's pretty amazing. Then I can just like scale it up and do some different things with this guy. Uh, but that is a Canva Pro feature. So you can imagine that as you're working with all these elements and everything in here, there are so many different Pro features that you can use and that make it worth it to have Canva Pro. Now look, we go to text and we have a lot of different text effects in here. And all of these guys are Canva Pro that you can just drag out into your design. We go to elements now. Remember we talked about the photos. So let's delete this photo here and let's go into uh, searching for elements and we're gonna search for, let's see, creative and art director. So let's just go with art. We're just gonna search for art and see what comes up. Okay, so we have in photos, we can go to see all and we actually have a lot of different Canva Pro photos or photography that we can use here. So I'm gonna use this one right here. Just click and drag it out and boom, we have this image in here that was a Pro image, but I can use it because I have Canva Pro. Same thing with graphics. There are lots of illustrations that are only pro. I mean, there are a ton of them in here. And same with videos. So you can edit video, you can use stock video. There's so much different stuff that you can pull into here. And you can use it because you have Canva Pro for a really affordable $10 a month if you purchase the annual plan subscription. So is Canva Pro worth it? Yes, I actually think Canva Pro is worth it. I don't even use it that much, I'll confess. I don't use Canva a whole lot. I have the whole Adobe suite, but I do pay for Canva Pro because when I use Canva Pro, I want to use the features that Canva Pro comes with. And I want to be able to work with the program without any limitations. So in my opinion, yeah, Canva Pro is definitely worth it. Once again, just click that link in the description and that will get you started and you get 30 days for free. So decide for yourself, is Canva Pro worth it to you?